In this tutorial, we're going to um, try and understand how to use select statements in SQL to be able to search through lots of data really nice and quickly. And if you've ever um, wondered how Google works, all Google is is just a big database with lots of web pages in, and Google turns what you type into SQL and searches its big database and gives you the results. Um, and it saves you having to go through hundreds or thousands or millions of different web pages to try and find the results. So if we use the W3 um, Schools SQL Try It Out activity, we'll have a look at the customers table, and you'll see that the customers table's got 92 records in. Um, so that means that there are 92 different customers that shop in this imaginary um, store. Um, so we want to try and work out how to search for whatever data we want. So the SQL's at the top, and the data that you get when you run the SQL appears at the bottom. So if you say select star from customers, customers is the name of the table. You don't need these square brackets there, so we'll take those out. Um, we run the SQL and you get the results. The star in here is what fields you see. So the star stands for, um, it's a wild card, which means get everything. So get all the information, all of the fields from the customers table. So if you only want to see um, the name of the customer, then we put the field name instead of a star. So we'll put customer name um, and run it. So now we still get 92 results, but we only see the customer name field. If you want to see more than one, then you can use a comma. Um, so if we want to see maybe the customer name and the city, then you just put the name of the field that you want to see and a comma and then the next um, name of the field that you want to see so that you can see both of those fields in here. So, select tells the database to search for stuff, then comes the, fi oops, sorry, then comes the fields that you want to, um, to see, from says what table you want to search from, and you can limit it down, so you can say where, and you can limit it to say, so only the people who are in London. So we'll say where city equals, um, oops, London. So now we've limited it to only show the six customers who live in London. Now be careful with your quotation marks. It doesn't really matter whether you use single quotation marks or double quotation marks, as long as you use the same ones. If you don't, then there's going to be an error message. OK. Um, so you can put as many things, um, as many criteria in for the search criteria as you like. So if we take that out for now and see all of the fields let's say if you want to see oops sorry if you just want to see the customers um, and you want to find their name and their address of all the customers that live in either Germany or the United Kingdom you can choose which fields so we want to see the customer name comma and the um, let's see the city, and we want to see the country as well, possibly, from customers, where... Uh, and we've got two things to search from now. So we want to see um, uh, if they live in either um, the United Kingdom or Germany. So where country equals Germany, or country equals UK. So let's run it, and we've got 18. So all of these are either in Germany or the United Kingdom. So you can have as many clauses as you like of and or or um, and limit it as much as you like. It's also possible to sort it um, in any order that you like. So if we want to order it alphabetically by the city, we just put an order by on the end. Order by the name of the field you want to order it by. So we want to order by city. And then either ascending or descending. So um, here it's an alphabetical um, sorted sort of reverse direction from Z up to A. If you want it alphabetically, we'll go ascending. Here we go. So the order is always select um, from where and then order by. So select the, the name of the fields you want from the tables you're interested in where, and then you put what you're searching for, order by which field and which direction. 